Hi, I'm Warren Moon, and the next tip we're going to talk about is reading defenses or reading coverages. For a quarterback, it's important that you put in as much time as you can in the film room to try and get any type of advantage you can on what a particular defense is going to do against you. Pre-snap reads are going to help you as far as your reads because if a team tends to line up and what they're going to run, you pretty much have an idea of what they're going to be in before the snap of the ball. But a lot of times teams try and disguise what they want to do or they rotate their safeties and that tells you a lot about reading defenses. So one of the big keys to reading defenses is knowing those safeties and watching their rotation. If they rotate, one goes back to the middle and one comes down to one side, you know basically you're probably going to go away from that side because that's the strong side of the defense. If both safeties stay on those hashes, you know you pretty much have some type of too high safety coverage, whether it's too high man or too high zone. And then the body language of defensive backs will tell you a lot about whether it's man or zone. If those cornerbacks, if you see them pre-snap read and they're up in the receiver's face or if they're off in the receiver's face staring right at those receivers, there's a good chance that that's gonna be a man coverage. If they have a more relaxed feel to them or looking in at the quarterback, they're either probably going to run out from a press position or they're probably in some type of zone if they're off and looking in at you to see what your drop is. So looking at the defensive back's body language has a lot to do with reading coverages as well. So if you can read the body language of the defensive backs and also look at the rotation of the safeties or the pre-snap read of the safeties, that's going to tell you a lot about what the coverage is going to be. Also, when you send people in motion, and usually if somebody runs with that man in motion, a lot of times that's going to be man coverage as well. So we're going to take a look, have Jared make some drops, and you're, he's going to be looking straight down the middle of the football field, looking for that safety rotation, and he'll be throwing the ball opposite. Notice how those safeties dropped down. One went to the middle, the other one came down to the, uh, to the strong side. So Jared wanted to go back to the weak side with the football. Now a lot of this is based on the type of route that you have called. There's some routes that are just strong side routes and you still have to read it out and throw to that side even though the safety's rotated that way. But most of the time you're gonna go away from that rotation. Now we'll watch a, a weak side rotation. So that time the formation was set to the right, which was our strong side, and they rotated down to the weak side. So that means Jared wanted to stay to the strong side with the football. Now this time we had two high safeties. Two high safeties could mean two high zone or two high man coverage. That's something that's determined on the route that you have called, but at least you're reading those safeties to know where you're going to go with the football. A lot of times you want to attack the middle of the football field against a too high zone because you have a big area in the middle of the field or you want to attack the outside deep on top of that corner if he doesn't run with the outside receiver and throw the ball down the sideline before that safety can get over to make the play. But as I talked about in the beginning, the key is watching tape, watching as much tape as you possibly can to get a feel for the team that you're going to play against and how they like to play coverage. The more film study you can put in, the more prepared you're going to be once the game gets there. And then once the game gets there, you go through your natural keys. Looking at body language of the defensive backs, looking at the safety rotation and where they're lining up and where they end up, that'll tell you where to go with the football. Those are some of the big keys to reading defenses. <laughs>